So you've probably already seen the image where Derek Lewis looks like he's gone down from heavyweight all the way to welterweight according to Terence McKinney. And I know it was an exaggeration, but if I had to make an accurate prediction on how much I think he weighs is, probably 210 to 220 pounds. Usually, if you look back to Derek Lewis's last fight against Pavlovich, you can see he weighed about 264.5 pounds. So I think he's probably lost all this weight due to the health scare he had at UFC Vegas 65 where he had a stomach issue and I think it was probably food poisoning or something like that but that has caused him to do this weight loss I believe. And for his health this is a very good idea but for fighting against a guy like Survey Spivak I don't think this is a good idea especially at heavyweight. When you think about Derek Lewis's style he likes to come forward, be explosive, be the aggressor, land first on you and try and knock you out. He's not really a technical fighter, he's a raw fighter. And if you fight against someone like Sergei Spivak, who is definitely not cutting weight, looks like he's six foot three, probably six foot five, 250 pounds, the weight difference I think might affect him for this fight. I would say Derek Lewis doesn't have the best takedown defense, but he doesn't have the worst. I'd say it's very average. And against a guy like Servi Spivak, yes, it's good he's losing weight for his health, but I think this could be a disadvantage for him. Because Sergei Spivak, like I said before, is big. Wrestling a lot of the time can be down to weight distribution. And if he's got a massive weight advantage over Derek Lewis, it will make it easier for him to shoot initially for the takedown. But then you might argue for Derek Lewis on the ground, we know he's had back problems in the past. Losing weight is going to help with his lower back, which will make it easier to scramble. Like I know some people would say he's big, but I've seen times when he was doing like backflips into a swimming pool and I know you wouldn't expect that from a heavyweight so I think he might have a better job of stopping Sergei Spivak's initial takedowns by scrambling maybe and I say maybe because we don't know but if Sergei Spivak gets him against the cage especially like he did against Augusto Sakai Derek Lewis isn't going to be able to move yes I said he's going to be lighter but because Spivak is so heavy he's going to be able to lean his body weight all over him and make it so hard for him to get up and then he can just land punches to the side of his head and you've also got to think on the feet now he's going to struggle even though he's going to have probably more speed i think his power is going to diminish a little bit and sergey spivak isn't going to want to take any chances on the feet so Derek lewis he might be fast but i think he's going to struggle to land with the same amount of power because he's not technical if he was a technical fighter, especially at heavyweight, I would say losing weight isn't a problem. Like you look at people like Tom Aspinall, Cyril Garn. Yes, they're heavyweights, but they don't look as big as people like Curtis Blades, your Jaradine Rosenstrikes, Francis Ngannou. They're not that big, but they can rely on their speed because they're very technical with their approaches. Derek Lewis isn't, which is why I think, like I'll say it again, I'm glad he's lost weight for his health, but I don't think it'll be beneficial for him in the heavyweight division. And I want him to beat Sergei Spivak, but don't expect Derek Lewis to become so technical on the feet because that's not how he's programmed to fight. It's knockout power, raw power. So after seeing that photo, the beneficial thing for him to do is probably move down to middleweight, but I'm scared Sergei Spivak is gonna go in there, take him down, beat him to a decision by probably getting him on the ground, controlling him, getting into top mount, landing strikes from there. And Derek Lewis is trying to get to his feet, but because, yes, I said he'll be able to scramble his way, but, but when he gets down to the ground, that's when we're going to see the main issues. And I think he's going to get him down and he's just going to win by doing that. And I hope he doesn't make Derek Lewis retire because I think after that weight loss, he should just move down to either like heavyweight or middleweight. I would recommend middleweight because when you look at the light heavyweights there, the stylistic matchups don't look good for Derek Lewis. You've got people like Yuri Prohaska, who I think would be a very hard fight for Derek Lewis. Even though he can put you away in an instant, we've seen when Derek Lewis can go against a technical fighter, he can sometimes struggle. We saw it with Cyril Garn attacking the legs, preventing his movement. I don't think Yuri Prohaska would do that approach. I think he'd try and keep it at range, land a few kicks, land a few strikes. Like He would be a problem, spinning strikes as well. Like Derek Lewis has shown offensive wrestling in the past, but once I can remember, like against Tai Tuivasa, taking him down, landing strikes from there. But eventually, he did get back up to his feet. But he won't be able to do that against someone like Yuri Brahaska. Look how he dealt with Glover. Yes, he was losing on the cards, but he ended up winning the fight due to good scrambling. Derek Lewis isn't going to be able to out-wrestle Yuri Prohaska. I just think that's a bad matchup for him. Glover, you could say that is a winnable fight, but I think Glover's smart enough to get him down to the ground and try and like 
finish him and land strikes to his head from there. Whereas Derek Lewis, if he can somehow keep it on the feet, which I don't think he could, and try to box with him, I can see a scenario where Derek Lewis goes into the pocket catches Glover with like an uppercut, sits him down. But then a lot of the other ranked guys in the top five to six, I think he's going to have massive problems against, especially the wrestler, like Muhammad Adenak alive. Anthony Smith, you might laugh at that. That would be an interesting fight to see with Derek Lewis because he could take advantage of the wrestling, use his jiu-jitsu. Although Derek Lewis has got good submission defense. Like you think about that Olenek fight he had, the Blagoy Ivanov fight, I just don't think it'd be the smartest decision to go down to light heavyweight. If he wants a logical thing, I think he should do the middleweight route, like we saw with Jared Cannonier, where he started off in heavyweight, made his way down all the way to middleweight. But the difference with that was, he was younger at the time when he did that. Derek Lewis at this point is about 38. When Jared Cannonier did that, he was about 34, so he was on the younger side. But at the middleweight division, I know you're going to say it's going to be very hard for him to do it. But if he can do it, I want him to do it. But the only thing you might have to worry about if he does go down to middleweight is will these stomach issues come back? Because when you have dramatic weight cuts, sometimes your body doesn't react well. But we never know of Derek Lewis because we haven't seen it before. And I hope that photo of him running is not fake or photoshopped or edited or something. But I think it would be better in the middleweight division. The middleweight division is full of strikers heavyweight and light heavyweight there's a mix now back in the day heavyweight and light heavyweight well more heavyweight was just pure strikers like flatline ko's just raw punches not a lot of wrestlers now we are seeing the skill gap at heavyweight increase massively we've got more wrestlers in there whereas middleweight is what the heavyweight division was years ago a lot of fighters were just pure strikers but i wouldn't say they're all ko merchants you got a mix in there like in the middleweight division, you've got loads of fighters who you could say he could have a good chance against. Like imagine if we saw, I doubt this would happen, something like Derek Lewis versus Darren Till. He would destroy someone like Darren Till with no wrestling, pure striker. Jared Cannonier, Derek Lewis, again that would be a good fight but I do think Jared Cannonier would beat him because he could attack his legs multiple times. And we've seen, like I said before, Cyril Garn against Derek Lewis, when you attack his legs... You can prevent his movement, therefore making him a more static target, making it easier to land on you. But in my opinion, every minute of the fight is dangerous. He can put you out at any minute, but Jared Cannonier, I can see him doing a technical approach of attacking the legs, slowing him down, and then coming up to the top. Or he might even finish him like he finished Anderson Silva with like a leg kick TKO or something like that. Marvin Vittori would be a hard fight because he's got very good takedowns and he could take down someone like... Derek Lewis to the ground, despite him being a big middleweight. And Alex Bahia, again, that would be a nightmare matchup for him. And Adesanya, that would be a nightmare matchup for him. Robert Whittaker would probably win that fight, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw an Israel Adesanya scenario where Robert Whittaker rushes in and gets caught with like an uppercut, a bit like how Curtis Blades got knocked out by Derek Lewis. But if you want to talk about unranked fighters in the middleweight division compared to unranked fighters in the heavyweight division i would say the unranked fighters in middleweight would probably be easier for Derek lewis because a lot of them again are strikers yes there's going to be a few wrestlers but there's going to be a few wrestlers in heavyweight and in the heavier weight classes you've got a high chance of getting knocked out if he was down to middleweight yes his chin might take a hit because of the weight cut but because the guys will be much smaller than him like we see it with alex Pahela, look at the punches he lands he fights at light heavyweight. He looks like he could be a heavyweight. We would see a similar scenario with Derek Lewis. Like, he's got loads of power. He'd look bigger than most of his opponents. And I'm talking about unranked fighters, by the way. And I could see him having success there. But that's only if he can get down to that weight class. And after seeing that image of him running, he looks like he is a middleweight. He doesn't look like a heavyweight. But he probably is a heavyweight. It's weird. But a very small heavyweight. And being a small heavyweight in that type of division, I don't think it's going to be beneficial to him in any way. Because of his archer type of fighting, he's a brawler. But yeah, we're going to have to see what happens with him versus Sergei Spivak. If he somehow wins that fight, I'll be shocked. But after seeing that weight loss, we'll have to see him at the weigh-ins. If he changes and looks much bigger, I might change my mind on who's going to win it. But as of right now, I can just see Sergei Spivak winning. He's got the size advantage. He hasn't got the power advantage, but I think the power of Derek Lewis will be diminished because of the amount of weight he's lost and his style isn't based around technique, it's based around raw power. 
So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.